Welcome to Math We Know. Are you able to solve this equation? Let's have a look at it. x squared minus 6 all squared the minus 6 is equal to x. How wonderful it is. Look, here appears a squared. Here as well. So the highest exponent of this equation is x squared and this squared is x to the power 4. 4 as an exponent is too large. So what should we do? For dealing with this equation, we have to have a look at its form. Hmm. Something squared minus 6 is equal to x. And this x squared minus 6 is this something. So, substitution. x squared minus 6 is a. Hmm, I love a. So we let x squared minus 6 is a. Oh my god, it's a little bit thick, isn't it? x squared minus 6 is equal to a. Mm, we let it be a. And then a is this thing. a squared minus 6 is equal to x. Substitute this a into our general equation. So we can get a squared minus 6 is x. Oh, look at the forms of these two equations. Now what I'm going to do is let the first equation minus the second equation. Subtraction. Why? Since therefore minus 6, the minus negative 6, they can be cancelled out. In the new equation, there will only appear x and a. So x squared minus a squared. Negative 6, negative 6, they can be cancelled out. And here, the right hand side, a minus x. So now we know that the formula m squared minus n squared is equal to m plus n and then times m minus n. Here, of course, x squared minus a squared. It is x plus a and then times x minus a. At the same time, we have to remove this plus a and negative x from the right hand side. We have to add an x on the both sides, and the left hand side will be plus x. And we have to subtract a from the both sides, and here is negative a. Zero. So now, factorization. x minus a, x minus a, take it out. We can do it. Since this is plus, not minus. So now, x minus a, and then times x plus a, and here plus 1. Don't forget. Since x minus a divided by x minus a is 1. The left hand side is a product, and the right hand side is just 0. So it can be zero, or this guy is zero. First, when x minus a, zero. So x is equal to a. Don't forget, what is a? x squared minus six, we've let it be a. So of course, x is equal to x squared minus 6. x squared minus x and then minus 6 is 0. We can factorize the left hand side, of course, we can. We have to find two integers such that their product is negative 6 and their sum is negative 1. Of course, these two numbers are positive 2 and negative 3. So here, hmm, 
I'm gonna write it here. X minus three, and then times X plus two is zero. Very good. X one is three, and X two is negative two. Now the second case. X plus a plus one is zero. And this time, x is not equal to a, but negative a minus one. A is x squared minus six, so x is equal to negative x squared minus six, and then negative one. Don't forget. Of course, here is x is equal to negative x squared plus six, the minus one is plus five x squared plus x minus 5 is 0. x3 and 4, they are negative 1 plus or minus square root of 21 and then divided by 2. And they are the other root. Do you get it? And don't forget to give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel for more videos, and we'll see you next time, bye bye!